uh, well, that is uh, not something that I expected. No, well, I don't think anyone really expected that coming into this one. But we'll see what's going to happen this time around as both teams charge out onto the battlefield. Uh, first Blood is all important in this game. Of course, on the rooftops, uh, the control of the center is very strong. And two kills already. Uh, three kills for Aeox, starting out this one very, very strongly. Coming out very strongly indeed. It is going to be Aeox already pulling out far ahead. And we know that rooftops are a map where once you have control of the rooftops, sorry, rooftops, you pretty much have control of most of the map. So for now, it is Aeox that have to clear the rooftops of panic members because panic they are on top of the roof to rooftops and you don't want to give them that chance. Yeah, it's a very, very good position to be in, but great use of grenades means that this, the scoreline is still very, very similar between these two teams. A panic pulling ahead at the last moment, managed to pick up a few extra kills, as of course the old reliable of panic. Uh, but the kills getting spread around relatively evenly so far. Yeah, it is once again a close game and we have five minutes and 35 seconds left to go only one kill before the game is back to even actually three kills now but this game it is on a nice edge neither team is a clear favorite because Aox have shown that they are a team that you cannot underestimate that they are a good underdog team but they are falling a little bit behind here against panic which is not a good sign no, I mean, Urz has done enormous work. Uh, and there we see Panic making great use of their auto turret there. We're going to have to see Aeox do a lot of work to come back into this one. But five kills is far from insurmountable. Uh, as Massel takes another one off Shan, but Urz continues their path of rage. Uh, though they do get dropped uh, in short order still. The gap between the two teams remains relatively constant for now. Yes, it does. And Panic, they are switching up their playstyle. They are moving around the map, making these fast skirmishes. They're not staying as a tight unit anymore. And they seem to have figured out the way to play against Aeox. They are beating the sorry, beating Aeox at their own game where they are doing these fast skirmishes. Shakira, who was such a big part of Aeox's last uh last success are uh, really struggling to find their feet in this game uh, but we'll keep an eye out for Massel who's done a lot of work uh, is about to take a grenade to the face and goes down in a hurry panic still being up 10 kills is a good sign for them but with three minutes and 50 seconds left to go either they get 20 kills or they keep this lead and as the game is going right now I, I might foresee panic coming out and picking up more kills in order to reach the 50 kill mark where they then will win the game well it's got to have been quite the wake-up call for panic to lose out of that previous game uh, but they've certainly not shown any signs of letting up the pressure on Aox trying to push themselves back uh, to they certainly do not want to go down 2-0 in this in this best of five series. Uh, and they seem to be pretty well set up for a manager to accomplish that right now. A big lead which just continues to get bigger for Panic. But Aeox, they do have the control of the rooftops. So in order for Panic to go and search for kills, they have to clear out the rooftops first of all. But that doesn't really matter to Panic as they just want control of the lower side of the map where they lure Aeox down time and time again and then just pick off the stranglers. I mean, look at Urz here with that 13 kills uh, as Shakira goes down once more. Uh, as, it's, as expected, riding high on the scoreboard, doing an enormous amount of work. But as you pointed out before, uh, Panic making really good use of their team play. It's not as the numbers might suggest, a one-person show for Panic, they are managing to bring numbers to bear. It's just that their top players are the ones who are securing the kills. And Urs is one of the guys that are securing the kills, getting 14 kills and only dying 6 times. He is a huge component of the success for Panic. Only 9 kills left to go with 2 minutes and 4 seconds remaining. 
panicked. They are on the brink of evening out this best of five series. Well, we do see Aeox managed to secure a number of prime kills right there. Brett taking down Earths is so, so important. But at this point, I don't know if Aeox will be able to come back from it as we see another <laughs> fight breaking out. Sean stepping up for Panic this time round and securing multiple kills by themselves. Three kills left to go. Panic, they are searching for the kills. They know they are on the brink of victory and they have just gotten one kill. Now, Sean will be killed. Earth will also be killed. But... They have two kills to go, whereas the side of Aox, they have to get 13 kills in order to even out the game. Well, Urz does fall down, but there's only one more kill. One kill left to go. It looks like it's all, this game's all over, but this screaming for Panic right now. But two more kills coming in favor of Aox. It's going to be an incredible thing to be able to come back there. Not going to manage it this time around. And we bring this series back to one apiece. Yes, we do. In this game, we see Panic being able to come back into the game. They were able to actually win a game against Aox. And Aox, a team that showed that they were not a team that you could underestimate, has some trouble in this game against the, the, the champions of Panic. Well, we will obviously have the next game as soon as is humanly possible.